took the Jerboas and I put them on a racetrack and took high speed video like you normally do, I couldn't find any, any predictable patterns. I was really frustrated. From step to step it was making strategic decisions that you wouldn't normally see in most animals. And I thought, okay, instead of being frustrated with the fact that these animals aren't predictable, why don't I study the unpredictability? As someone who works on optimization and dynamical systems, we have nice, uh, elegant theories for how to quantify how random something is. And as a result, we develop you know, some nice new optimization tools and nice mathematical ideas to try and quantify just how random this was. In information theory, you study sort of uh, the content of information as a whole. So if I'm passing data from point A to point B, you know, how much information is there in that data? And that tells us how much, you know, memory or how much uh, bandwidth we need to be able to share that information. If the predator can look at the animal and say, hey, the animal always has information content one, in some sense, it's really easy to predict what that animal is going to do. Whereas if that animal is really random and it's bouncing around, the predator needs to know a lot more about the animal in order to really be able to figure out where it's gonna go. By studying information theory and really applying it in this instance, you can understand just how random or how uh, capable of avoiding predation it is. This is something that's not really been done in robotics before. Mostly we design robots to have kind of the steady state locomotion and make continuous steps in a straight line. When we start designing these robots and we start putting them out into different compelling environments, we now see why, hey, if we're gonna focus on bipedal, if we're gonna put these bipedal systems on Mars or on in a desert, Maybe what we should be trying to exploit is the fact that you know, it's somehow more agile. And so if we want to make kind of more biomimetic robots and think more about how robots can interact with nature and the world around us, we're going to need to think about how to engineer unpredictability in motion.